Hi guys, today we're going to talk about frequently asked questions about Walmart automation. So I have John here, he's going to ask me about questions that our followers are asking on Instagram and YouTube. So how this interview is going to be set up is I'm going to ask like Mo a bunch of questions and he's going to get, you know, you're going to get the answer directly from me. So let's start off. Um, so what do we offer in our service? In our service, we offer automated business. So we know in life, a lot of people are busy with their current job. So we have clients that are doctors and engineers, and we also have clients that owns a business or even going to school, right? So we offer a business that's automated 100% after the setup process. So that way our clients can make money even while they're sleeping. So it's Walmart automation. So what we do basically is drop shipping and we have employees and VAs overseas who handles all the backhand work. And so that way clients can get paid every month without even have to worry about any employees or business, how to run the business. Okay, and um, you know, from my understanding, there's a you know a couple of startup fees because this this service is not something that's free, obviously. So um, uh, a lot of our followers they're asking um, if we offer any sort of financing um, yeah. for the startup fees. Of course, we do have a setup fee. It can go anywhere between twenty five to thirty five thousand. We can break down uh, the percentage, uh, but. Uh, what we offer is basically uh, credit repair if you don't have good credit. If you do have good credit with good history, I believe about 720 credit score with three year minimum history and five credit cards on your file, we can definitely get you funding at 0% interest rate, 12 to 15 months. And with that, you can actually go into our business and break even within six to 10 months and pay off that credit card. And you can just build this business right under your credit card. So, you know, to sum up things you have, you, you're, we are able to uh, offer credit repair as well as credit funding, right? Exactly. Okay. So another question that we commonly get is um, people like talking numbers. So yeah. um, let's say realistically, how much profit can a store make if, our, if a client had $50,000 in credit limit? So a client with $50,000 in credit limit, we can, uh, you get paid from Walmart every two weeks. So you can do about $100,000 in sales gross sales. So in that, we can actually do about, I would say about 25 to $35,000 in net profit with that store. Oh, pretty good, pretty good, yeah. solid numbers right there. Mm -hmm. um, also, you know, a lot of clients are asking, you know, well, what is our ROI? Is there any guarantees in this type of business? Yeah, of course, our ROI we're seeing is about six to 10 months, but we're, uh, best case scenario uh, is basically, we have a client that broke even in two months. Of course, the client had a, like an unlimited credit line and we're able to scale his store even from the first day. Uh, we uploaded about 122 products into his store and we basically scaled his store over $70,000 in first month and second month we did over a little bit over 55,000. Okay, That's pretty good. Um, so, you know, with this type of service, uh, a lot of people are wondering, since, you know, they want to get into this type of service, they want to be 100% transparent with how we're working. Um, so how many clients are we currently working with right now? How many stores do we have open? Right now, we have over 60 clients. So how our business works is basically, like we said, we have automated clients uh, who pay us a firm fee anywhere between 25 to 35,000. We make the business automated. This does not happen overnight, right? But we have a lot of process when you get started. We have an onboarding process where, you know, Walmart approval process is very long and uh, you, you can't get denied. We're seeing a lot of people get denied. But like we, we started this service for Walmart automation beginning of 2020. So we know exactly how to get this account approved. And even if you get denied, we know how to appeal it and get your account approved. And um, you know, with the recent trending topics before, uh, a lot of people were talking about Amazon automation. Mm -hmm. And now all of a sudden, this thing called Walmart automation is just coming up out of nowhere. Yeah. So uh, a lot of people are asking, why are we selling on Walmart? Why is, it, why is Walmart automation a thing right now compared to selling on Amazon? Yeah, so I started the automation service uh, back in 2017. There's over like 4 million sellers, third party sellers on uh, on Amazon. So uh, anybody with a social security card can start a, a Amazon store, right? So with Walmart, it's very, like I said, it's very hard to get in right now. So it's not gonna get saturated, but it's a new platform. So a lot of people are trying to sell on there uh, and there's higher profit margin because you don't have a lot of competition. On Amazon, people are driving down the price every single day, trying to be the best seller, trying to get the buy box. So we're seeing about anywhere between 25 to 30 35% margin on Walmart. 
So that's why I think our clients can break even faster on this service. And I have about 94 Amazon clients and I'm switching uh, uh, about 10 clients a month over to Walmart because if they have a good credit line, I can make them more money on Walmart. So in general, you know, Walmart automation just makes more sense just because, you know, uh, it's a new, it's a new trending topic. Mm -hmm. And usually in life, you know, the early adopters or anything usually have high probability to make the most money, right? Exactly. It is a new trending topic, but also remember Walmart is a huge company. The Walmart family has the money to become the next Amazon. Walmart already has the warehouse like Amazon. Walmart also, also have the location in every single city, multiple location to become more than Amazon. So that's why I think uh, Walmart is the next wave because they're definitely trying to get um, ahead of Amazon. Um, I 100% agree. And um, a lot of our clients, you know, they already have, for example, some of them already have Amazon stores or already even some of our, pre our clients working right now, they already have a, a Walmart automation store with us. Um, mm -hmm. Another question they're wondering is, is it able to open up more than one store? Yes, you can open up uh, more than one store. For example, if you, uh, there's a certain way to do it, uh, but you know, that's for our clients only. Um, so uh, it has to be one store per household, but if you have multiple business address, we can definitely open up more stores for you. Under, if you want to partner up with someone in your family or f other members of your family or your friends, you can definitely do that too. Um, so we, we mentioned a lot about, um, you know, the approval process and, uh, you know, a lot of that's what a, a pain point for a lot of the, our customers yeah. is because they want to understand exactly what happens in that approval process. So um, how long does it normally take and what goes on in that process? So it takes about four to five weeks. Uh, the reason it takes four to five weeks is because when you become a client, uh, of course, you have to get your LLC, EIN, we have to get your DUNS number, we have to get your wholesale website. Uh, we also have to create all these professional emails and phone number to, for Walmart doesn't want anybody off the street to sell on their platform. That's what Amazon did. And that's why they have so many competition and so many problems, right? With Walmart, they want everybody that's like a professional seller. So we have to create all these things for you to be able to sell on Walmart. So if Walmart sees that you're not you don't have credibility, they're not gonna approve your account. So we have to make sure, hey, you have all this information in the first place correctly so that way we can start your account. They just wanna make sure that you're not, since you're selling on their platform, you're not um, causing any issues with their clients on walmart.com. And it's better for us too, because you know, uh, you know, it's it doesn't it weeds out the people that just come in and just basically undercut us. There's less competition, so the exactly. people that get in, you know, you can have um, highest chance of getting your store up and running appropriately, right? Exactly. And also with Walmart, well, some of the products, uh, high selling products that we have, we actually have licensing for it, or we can get licenses for it after we sell the product. Uh, so that creates less competition for us because if someone uh, tries to sell the same product in our listing, we can actually strike them down, give them 20, uh, 48 hours notice. Hey, do you have license to this product to sell on Walmart? If you don't, please take down the product. We'll give you 48 hours or we'll report you to Walmart. Okay, perfect. Yeah. That sounds good, actually. Um, so you did mention, you know, there is an initial fee to yeah. start, right? Um, so once someone, you know, sends over the initial fee, the Walmart account is approved mm -hmm. and they start selling, as far as the, our customers, what are the monthly expenses that happen and that they have to come up with? Yeah, so the monthly expenses uh, that you have is basically the $250 BA fee uh, once your store starts selling, right? So that's when the monthly BA fee starts because this is a base pay for our client. In any job, if you have a commission job, you definitely get a base pay. So this is for our, to basically take our, our infrastructure back in Philippines and Bangladesh. It also pays for our offices over there. Okay. Yeah. Um, and then along with the initial fee, um, you know, there is a certain profit split um, yeah. because at the end of it is a long term business deal. Right. So can, yeah. can you go over the different profit splits as well as uh, the packages we offer right now? Yeah. So it starts with twenty five thousand, right? Twenty five thousand gives you fifty five. 45, the clients get the higher percentage in every deal. Um, 30,000 gives you uh, 60, 40, and then 35,000 gives you 65, 35 split. Okay. And you did mention before you have VAs. Um, how many VAs are we currently running with right now? Right now in Philippines, we have over 60, and in Bangladesh, we have over 120. So um, 
we're basically training new employees every single day. Our VAs, they actually train for three months before they touch any live store. Uh, what that does for us is that they shadow in those three months to the best clients we have and also best VAs that we have. So uh, they just they just don't shadow just one single uh, other virtual assistant. They also um, shadow multiple other VAs. So th that way they can get a different perspective when it comes to this business and running it on their own. Okay. And uh, we did mention before, you know, we're also, we have VAs, but we also have a US-based team, right? So can you explain yeah. how our, uh, what the US-based team does? Um, yeah, so basically we have marketing and operation also. Uh, and what I did is that I have employees here, what they call operation manager. They're like, kind of like account managers. They handle up to 10 accounts, making sure every day process is going smoothly. Uh, all the checklists every single day, uh, they're fulfilling the orders. So they contact those VAs, which is, let's say they have 10 clients, 10 stores they're able to maintain those every single day so we don't have any issues okay. yeah. so worst case scenario um you know with our walmart stores um you know with amazon before too problem with amazon before a lot of accounts were getting suspended right yeah. so same thing happens with walmart yeah. um right there there is risk of suspension suspension here uh right now we don't have any suspension with Walmart. Uh, yes, we did have issues with that on Amazon, but we had. That's why I like selling on Walmart too because we haven't had that much issues. Yes, we get emails from. You uh, get emails for issues that happens with our customers from Walmart. We just have to basically make sure we take care of that situation. Uh, offer them a great service. Uh, make make the situation better for the for their clients, maybe offer them a free product or give them a gift card if any issue happens with their product. So if the, let's say one of our client stores gets, does get suspended, um, what are the steps that we take? To uh, like we do have an action plan where we try to get the store back. Uh, we, have we have lawyers also, our legal team, who can also contact Walmart so they can get the stores back. Okay, sounds yeah. good. Um, so, you know, this obviously we're not the only company that uh, does Walmart automation, right? Mm -hmm. So um, just, for, just for the people watching, um, yeah. there are other people that offer the same exact, exact service um, that we do. Yeah. So if you can just explain how we're different. Yeah, um, so I don't really know much about other companies. I'll tell you about us, why we are different. Uh, I've been doing this since 2016, guys. So I started my first sales in 2016 and started doing it on my own. And also then people started asking me questions to run their account because I had a great team already. Um, uh, we have a really good infrastructure, okay? So we have an infrastructure in the US, we have an infrastructure in the Philippines and Bangladesh. A lot of people I know, they have a flaw, which I talked about my Instagram is that um, let's say in Philippines two three months ago they had a, they had a hurricane uh, the stores were down two to three days which is not good at all and and we were basically backed up with a lot of work it's not good for um, business because we had to process this order 24 hours so the clients can get the product uh, within two days right so what happened is that that in that moment every store can get suspended because all these orders are coming in so our VAs in Philippines work 12 hours, 12 hours a day in, uh, in their country and 12 hours a day in Bangladesh. So that way this, these accounts can be worked 24 hours. Meaning if we get a sale, that sale is converted to, um, is converted to um, shipping the product within the same day. So that's what makes us difference too, because I don't see anyone doing that right now. And also, like I said, we have a really good contract too. Uh, when it comes to our client, it protects them and protects us. We have a full legal team when it comes to, like I said, licensing the product if we need to. Uh, we also have the US team where we maintain everything. Our VAs don't have full control, right? A lot of people, they hire agencies um, outside of the US in other countries for the VA and they let them handle everything, even the approval process, uh, even everyday day-to-day -day tasks. Uh, we basically stay on top of it and making sure every single client is getting quality service uh, instead of quantity, right? That's why we also take, uh, we also take 10 to 12 clients a month because it can get uh, it can get overworked. We want to make sure we call, we provide really good quality service, um, so that way we could get more clients. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, this is a you know a long term business type of deal, and we yeah. want to get we want to retain our customers because at the end of the day, our 
pain point here is just to get them to break even, right? Yeah, um, exactly. Because once they break even, you know, it's a no brainer that they're going to want to continue working, exactly. right? As you know, we don't run any ads. All of our clients come from our customer results and also like from our Instagram. Yeah. Um, so at the end of the day, what we're really promoting here or talking about here is an investment opportunity, right? Um, so how does how is this investment opportunity compared to um, compared to different things like real estate or um, you know just any like a, buying a franchise, buying a McDonald's? Yeah. yeah. So for example, like I looked into a Chick Fil A franchise. You actually have to put have to have about two hundred thousand dollars with everything, right? Um, and you have to be a manager. So you have to maintain the service. You have to go in there and actually work there, right? And you don't even know if you're gonna break even even in a year or two, right? In this business, like I say, you could break even six to 10 months. Uh, I know a lot of people, a lot of my friends in Miami, they own restaurant and they're not even breaking even, even in two years because they have so much cost up front. And uh, I know people lost their businesses because of, the co because of COVID. So here, we actually made more money for our clients because everybody was shopping online. So I kind of feel like this business is kind of bulletproof when it comes to this kind of things, because we're not getting taken down by um, economy taking a hit or like the, the getting a violation in, 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 in the location and you can even serve any, any more food or clients, you know? So I feel like online business is where I would go. Like even in real estate, you spend 20 to 30 years to pay that property off and you're kind of stuck with that property. You know, so I'd rather go into a business that has passive income every single month, even like stock trading, right? Like right now the market is crashing. Like I lost $30,000, you know, holding Tesla stocks. Yeah. So it's just that um, with, with, with our business, you're making consistent income. It's not going up and down. It's actually every month we can scale it every single month. So that's why I like this business, especially for our clients. If they have passive income every single month, they're eventually gonna get a second store, a third store. Especially with our like, drop shipping model we have, right? Because um, you know how the drop shipping model works is you yeah. can't really be at a loss um, until because we don't really buy anything until you make a sale, right? We make a sale, yeah. Exactly. We we only exchange hands when it comes to we sell the product. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, that was the grunt of like a lot of our the questions that uh, customers are asking. Um, you have any closing thoughts, you know, regarding our service? No, what I like to say is that guys, if you have any more questions, please contact us below. We have a calendar set up. And it, uh, if you like this kind of content, make sure you like, comment and subscribe. We'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Peace.